Hey my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Oh my gosh, there's so much tea to spill. Let's go ahead and start this video off with YG and Sweetie. Now we know a couple of months ago, it was reported that YG and Sweetie were dating. We spotted these two out at a pool with each other. And ever since then, these two have been seen everywhere holding hands. Obviously, they were in a relationship. Well, it looks like that relationship may have ended. How did we get this indication? Because these two decided to completely unfollow each other on Instagram today. Now I'm gonna go ahead and speculate that maybe these two have been over for a little minute because a week ago sweetie posted some pictures onto her instagram with a subliminal caption reading and saying there's no place like me now like i said i'm just speculating that that's probably where the trouble began between the two but also their tour is completely canceled now we don't know if their tour is canceled because of low ticket sales or if it's because these two ended their relationship or it could be a little bit of both but yes the word that is going around is that they decided to cancel Cancel this tour and if you didn't already know yes sweetie yg and tyga were going on this straight to the club tour and now it is completely canceled unfortunately like i said you guys can let me know in the comment section do you think that the tour is canceled because sweetie and yg ended their relationship or do you think it's because of low ticket sales or maybe a little bit of both let's go ahead and move into this next tea okay and this is chinese kitty and Shada waiter now who knows why chinese kitty Kitty may have a problem with Jada Waiter, but she decided to post and let it be known she was the first one to wear the same top that Jada had been seen wearing on her Instagram. This is what she posted. She said, just know the first girl to wear this, but it's cute, real life trendsetter. Now, who else have we seen wearing this same top that Chinese Kitty is saying that she wore first? Yes, no other than our girl Jada Waiter. Jada Waiter was seen wearing this same top that Chinese Kitty is talking about. Now, who really knows why Chinese Kitty is trying to start something with Jada Waiter over a top and who wore it first. Honestly, I feel like it's just a little petty and a little childish. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that maybe Chinese Kitty is coming for Jada Waiter because of the little baby situation. We know some time ago, Chinese Kitty was filmed, I guess, at a bowling alley with little Baby. Once she posted it, little Baby kind of like disowned her for some reason. And maybe she's just a little salty about that. But as we know, little Baby and Jada haven't really been together. They haven't really been messing with each other so like i said who really knows why chinese kitty felt the need to come for jada waiter like that it just seems like she really doesn't like her but you guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section now let's go ahead and move into this next topic which is going to be about lotto now this magic city dancer decides to call out allegedly quote-unquote lotto for coming into magic city throwing money on the floor but then later on picking it back up with her crew and leaving the club yes not this magic city dancer called calling Lotto allegedly an Indian giver. Now, of course, I'm assuming a lot of people are assuming and alleging that this Magic City dancer was talking about Lotto because one, we know that Lotto just filmed a music video for her. It's a party song at Magic City. Also, this dancer kept on talking about this person was hosting a party for their recent release. So it definitely seems like it's adding up to Lotto. And plus, all over the blogs, people are saying that this Magic City dancer answer is talking about lotto which it definitely seems like it's a nine out of ten chance that she is talking about lotto but i'm not gonna 100 percent say that she is talking about lotto because she didn't come out and say a name now yes this magic city dancer explains her experience dancing that night for lotto while she was hosting this party now she says that all of a sudden lotto she lost her little wallet now lotto was looking everywhere for her wallet and she could not find her wallet so a lot Lotto automatically assumed that one of the dancers had took her card. They had took her wallet. So she got very, very upset at the dancers. And she was like, none of y'all want to help me find my wallet. I can't find my wallet. Y'all stole my wallet. And then she told her whole team to pick up all of the money that they had spent, that they had thrown for the dancers, pick up all the money and let's leave. So all of her team members and everybody, her crew that was with her at Magic City, they decided to pick up all the money that she had threw for the dancers that the dancers had worked for and danced for and they decided to leave that club all because Lotto could not find her wallet and like I said I guess Lotto felt like one of the dancers had just taken 
her wallet and had stole her wallet now of course this dancer was very upset she didn't like the fact that lotto had decided to do that i definitely want to know you guys' thoughts and opinions about this of course lotto has not spoken out about this this is now just spreading all over the blog but like i said i definitely want to know what you guys think because there's a lot of people feeling like lotto wasn't wrong for this like if y'all are going to steal my wallet then i'm taking all my money and i'm leaving because y'all are not being grateful for the money that i'm spending right but then again it just seems like why would you you know make everybody pay for what one person obviously did but obviously lotto doesn't know these dancers she could have felt like all of the dancers were in on it do you feel like lotto and her team had a right to take that money back that the dancers have worked hard for or do you feel like she didn't have a right to do that because the dancers obviously have been working hard for that money a lot of people are insinuating and saying that lotto obviously doesn't have money like that or didn't have that money like that but obviously she is a millionaire she probably was just very upset about her wallet being taken but like i said there's so many different thoughts and opinions people are saying that she could have called her car but then there's a lot of people saying that she had every right but then again like i said there's a lot of people saying that she had every right since her wallet was taken to do what she felt like she needed to do which was take all of the money that she had spent in the club and leave that club now i think it's pretty fair that you know if lotto did something like that she might not be able to show up to that club again because i'm pretty sure a lot of those dancers are very upset with her but like i said you guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section we're gonna go ahead and move on to erica minna now we we know this situation that happened between her and spice this controversy is still being talked about recently erica mena decided to go live to show that she is very much unbothered about what everybody is saying she also decided to compliment the instagram model bernice burgos saying that she wanted to leave her vacation as tanned as bernice burgos she said she wants to be the same color as bernice burgos if she's not the same color as her she is not getting on the plane obviously she's saying that she looks up to or she's inspired by bernice's color so much so that she wants to be her color now, of course a lot of people were going to say something about this because they're like hold on you were just called out for saying something very colorist towards a dark-skinned woman and now you're saying that you want to be a dark-skinned woman's color okay now once this was posted onto the shade room onto the blogs this is what erica had to say in the comment section about everybody basically bashing her for what she said she said who doesn't want to have bernice beautiful color Color, especially on vacation the fact that i actually get color naturally in the sun all my life and it's now being considered as me black facing is pathetic this is insane how pressed people are about someone they claim is canceled okay now like i said on this video that Erica Mena decided to do, not even video, on this live, definitely seems like she's trying to show that she's very much unbothered about the situation. Any other time, I would say, like, there's no problem with her trying to show her unbotheredness, right? But it definitely seemed like she was doing a lot to show that she was unbothered. And this remark that she made about Bernice after the whole situation that happened between her and Spice kind of did show a lot that she was trying just a little too hard to show that she was unbothered about the situation and plus we can tell that Erica Mena is still bothered about the situation because she's been commenting on a lot of different things she's been you know saying a lot of things making a lot of remarks I can see if it was to where she hadn't been saying a lot of things about the situation online if she just gave her apology and stopped speaking about it yeah maybe she would be a little unbothered but definitely Erica's been talking about it or commenting to stuff or replying to things about the situation day to day so we do know that she's bothered and it's okay to be bothered as long as you learn from the situation and learn to be better you know and change your ways okay let's go ahead and move into our last topic which is going to be Lil Tay now I feel like so many people are surprised about the fact of Lil Tay returning to social media I mean after the news that was reported that she had gone let's just say it for a lack of better words on YouTube that she was gone after more news came out and said that she wasn't gone i don't feel like it should have been such a surprise that she came back to social media but she did come back to social media she dropped a music video along with the new song calling people broke she wrote to her instagram she said i'm back i'm back i'm back link in my bio y'all thought the show was over sucker for green i 
out now and then she said link in bio everyone go watch definitely a good thing that Lil Tay did return to social media I'm not really sure how many fans she has or how many people are going to be as interested in her music or her since she has been gone for about five years and now she has come back but I want to know what you guys think about this in the comments section all of these topics my lovely TTs like I said so much tea to spill in today's video definitely let me know how you feel about all of it like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload like I always say I will see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your night if you're going through anything just know that you can pray your way through it okay I just wanted to lend that message to anyone but like I said have a good night I'll see you in my next one